road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making YouTube for my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again Going places that I've never been Seeing things I may never see again And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Like a band of gypsies we go down the highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world keep turning our way And our way is on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again the life I love is making YouTube for my friends, and I can't wait to get on the road again. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends. I'm not actually on the road. I'm in Oregon. I'm uh, five days from Rapid City, South Dakota. And, uh, well, my last video, you saw that we got hung up in Billings, Montana in a snowstorm for a couple of days. But uh, dry roads all the way to Portland, Oregon. And we'll be here for a couple of weeks, and I'll be making videos about Portland and surrounding areas and some more of my family. Um, I wanted to show you something. I don't know if I've ever showed you this sign. It's uh, wooden, and that's actually my Monaco, and that symbol there is a Monaco symbol. This is hand-carved, well, with a router, but done by hand, and down below it says Ajijic, Mexico. These signs are made by Redwood Country Signs, and... It's my sister-in-law's sister who owns that company, and they make them out of Oklahoma. And if you'd like a sign, um, let me know. I'll put you in contact with them. They make uh, very beautiful signs, and they can do customized anything you want. Um, we put a suction cup up on the window and hang it in the window when we're parked in the desert down in Oklahoma so the people know that uh, we are Lynn and Jerry from Ajijic, Mexico. This isn't going to be a travel video. This is going to be a video of clips I took of my 101, soon to be 102 year old mother, um, back when we were in Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, I just need to talk about mom. That's uh, what this video is going to be about. So enjoy. Look at these beautiful eggs, Jerry. They don't get any better than that. How many eggs are in there? Three dozen. Three dozen. No, Minus no. one, because we ate one. I ate one. What's so uh, funny? Wait a minute. What's so funny? Did, did I just hear you say you're going to go and trade hard-boiled eggs for raw ones? Yes. I'm confused. <laughs> why didn't? Why didn't you just? Not boil them in the first place. I'm saving my friend the trouble. What? I make hard-boiled eggs better than anyone. You know, now that you met, now that you've explained it, it makes perfect sense. <laughs>
How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could wood chuck, chuck wood? wood? Yeah, wood. We chucked a lot of wood. We took a little bit more than an hour to do this. Uh, is that all? I'm still in pilot training mode with the drone. I want you to notice that the colors are all washed out in this video. And I have a solution for that. I have now ordered and received UV filters for the drone. So the next drone video I make should have much better color. I'm looking forward to that. Somebody hasn't been invited to the party yet. You guys want to come in the house? Hmm? Mom, I have a lot of people on my YouTube channel that ask about what's the secret to getting to be 101 years old. Do you have a secret? Plain orneriness is what I told the doctor in the end. Plain orneriness? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, when did you start getting the orneriest? Was it later in life, or? Seemed pretty ornery when you were beating me with the broom. Oh, I didn't beat you. You didn't. Yes, you did. You beat me with the broom. I you broke the broomstick right I, over my head. I took... Oh, I did not. You deserved it. Yes, right? you did. You broke the broomstick I right over my head. Broom. And then you beat me with the you, broken handle. You deserved for it. For breaking the broom. I did not. <laughs> I took a swat at you with the broom and the broom broke. Yep. She took a, I, I rest my case. She took a swat at me with the broom. What, did you miss? No, you hit me. And the broom broke, right? Huh? I, I suppose. <laughs> you suppose. <laughs> Say, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay, so, and then what did you do? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that sounds like I plead the fifth to me. <laughs> what did I do? You beat me with the broken handle. Oh, I did. You're distracting, you're distracting <laughs> everyone from the not. real conversation that you're having. I did not. <laughs> the conversation is how come you're on? How can you live to be 101? Uh, she said she's honoring. Yeah. My cut. Oh, shoot. 7, 8, 9, 15, 2, 15, 4, and 7. Right. I have 15, 2, 15, 4, and 4 is 8. Mom, do you remember when uh, you were rocking on the front porch in a rocking chair and you rocked on Roger's toe? And then he claimed that I hit him when I was actually playing in the backyard? The only time I remember him doing that was in Yellowstone. Well, speaking of Yellowstone, can you verify that you sent me out to the garbage with a pan full of scraps or something and yeah. I touched a bear in the garbage can? Yeah. Is that a true story or did I just make that up? No, that's true. Oh. You felt the huh? fur on his back when you started to Yeah, dump the pan in the garbage. I win. What's the big grin for? I've been schooled again by the Cribbage champ of Echo Ridge. Two more games, two more losses. You know, when I'm a kid, you beat me with the broom. I 
I didn't Here know. I am, 74 years old I did tomorrow, not. and you're beating me with cribbage. I did not. Huh? <laughs> now, wait a minute. Maybe maybe you didn't beat me with the broom. I took did I ever get a spanking? I took a shot at you with the broom. Yeah? Swipe. Yeah? Your rear end. Yeah. And? And the broom broke, but it was... What did she do in A New York? TV. What did you, What did you do in New York during World War Two? What did I do? Yeah. I worked at Macy's. Macy's department store. Yeah. Yeah. What What department did you sell? I didn't sell. Huh? I was in a big machine. I had to punch. Every time somebody else put in a big amount of money, yeah, and they had an account, yeah, and a card, and they'd go through the store and just show their card, and that went to the money that he had. To and then after Macy's, you you did something else. They wouldn't give me. I was coming home for five or six days or ten days, I don't remember. Uh -huh. And I asked to go along and the boss lady said no. So I said, where do I go to collect my pay? <laughs> okay. And she said, what? I said, you heard me now answer. Mm -hmm. And her eyes got big. <laughs> So you quit at yes, Macy's? I quit and came home. Okay, then after you came back from your five-day furlough with Dad... There was an ad in the paper that they wanted people to come for the war plant. Sperry Gyroscope Company. And they made searchlights, didn't you? Oh, they made a lot of... They made a, the basket... For the 60 inch searchlight. Yeah. And all different parts in it, and I worked on that. I run drilling machines, and one of them I had to stand on the box because. You were too short? I couldn't reach. Turn it down, and <laughs> I stood on the box. To reach the handle for the drill. The drill press, yeah. It was a big machine, that, that one. But the, most of the time we sat at the bench and fitted bearings, fitted pieces together. Are you familiar with the term Rosie the Riveter? Rosie the Riveter started as a Norman Rockwell painting on the Saturday Evening Post and became the symbol of women who moved into industry to replace the men that went to war. Well, they never called me that. They didn't, huh? Mm -mm. Well, anyway, I think you were a Rosie the Riveter. How many eggs does a chicken lay? One. Dummy. <laughs> I, I was just making conversation you here. You asked for that one. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> and that got you a job? Who cared how many eggs a chicken laid when you were getting a job in the searchlight manufacturing company in New York City? <laughs> Do you remember when the war was over? Yes. You were on Broadway with the ticker tape confetti parade. I sat on the, we both sat on the curb because uh -huh. I was pregnant. What would they say? Were the girls sailors? You were pregnant? Sailors? Hey, I was there. Right? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how about, I, just, I, un, un, I always tell people that I love roller coasters because I went on the big one at Coney Island as a fetus. Is that true? 
Oh, okay, well, we've forgotten about that. Or else it's just a story I made up. You know, there's a lot of those where, you yes, know, I know, like Mark Twain says, you never let the I truth know. get in the way of a good story. Every <laughs> once in a while when I'm watching, I say, <laughs> no, Jerry. I'm going to edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.